Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the nvldmkm.sys error, blue screen TDR failure that you are experiencing on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Star menu, type in Device Manager. Best results should go back with Device Manager listed right above Control Panel. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to expand the Display Adapter section by double clicking on it. And then whatever Display Adapter is listed under here, you want to right click on it and select Update Driver. It's going to ask how do you want to search for these drivers. Go ahead and select Search Automatically for Drivers. That is what I would recommend trying first here. You can also try going onto the manufacturer's website and see if you can find any more specific drivers through there. So again, definitely worth a shot. And it says the best driver for your device is already installed. So you can just select close. You saw the also an option to go check Windows Update as well. So it definitely was a shot there. And if you also wanted to do another way of checking for updates, you could just right click on the display adapter list under here and just right click on it and select update driver. So we're going to go ahead and browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And you're just going to have to give it a moment here. and you would go ahead and select the one most applicable to your computer and then you just would select next and see if that would have been able to resolve the problem. So I would restart your computer to see if everything is working as it should. So another thing you can do here if we close out of here and open up the start menu, type in control panel Best results should go back with control panel. Go ahead and left click on that. Select your view by large icons and then select the power options. Select the power plants currently selected here's change plan settings option. So go ahead and select that. And then select change advanced power settings. You want to locate wireless adapter settings and just expand that by clicking the little plus sign after that. And then it should be a power saving mode, expand that. And then there might be something that says on battery as well as plugged in. You want to go click inside the drop down here and set it to max power saving. And then once you're done with that, you should be able to go ahead and just close out of here. So select apply and OK. Close out of here, restart your computer, and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.